my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam in the time of Umar bin Khattab radiallahu an, when he was Khalifa when he was the Amir of al Mu'mineen, there was severe famine that hit the city of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Medina and the villages around Medina and this was in the year of 188 Hijrah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that year the sky did not bring its rain and the earth became so dry and the animals died and this maja'a, this drought, this famine continued for nine months until the earth itself became very dark and they named that year Aam al-Ramad al-Ramad means black the dust became dark because there was so much drought at that year Umar bin Khattab radiallahu an al Khalifa al-Rashidah he took this problem to himself and he prohibited from himself that he will not eat until the people the children of the Muslims have something to eat and he stood up to take care of that problem and as Ibn Malik radiallahu an narrates he says that taqarqara batnu umr umr's stomach made a sound taqarqur means when the sound is made the stomach when he's hungry and umr bin khattab he used to eat small bread if he can with oil and he stopped even eating cheese then he pointed and pushed back his stomach and he said taqarquri taqarquri make your own sound and he said by allah you will not have something to eat until the children of the Muslims have something to eat. Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu, he stood up and made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said in his dua, he was making dua constantly for nine months to Allah to elevate the problems from, from the Muslims, the famine. And he said, Allahumma ja'al rizqahum ala ru'us al-jibal. Oh Allah, make their provision on the top of mountains and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end had answered his dua and the rain started coming down and he said Umar alhamdulillah he praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the ni'am that he had given and he said Allah, by Allah law anna Allah lam yufrijha if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not elevate the problems from the Muslims he said ma taraktu ahla baytin min al-muslimin I would not leave any family of the Muslims. Lahum si'ah. They have some wealth that they have something to eat. Except I would put equal numbers of the Muslims on their shoulder. Those who do not have anything to eat. Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu took it to himself. They say Umar, he was very concerned about that famine that hit the Muslims at a time. Ibn Sa'ad narrates in his tabaqat, narrated from Abdullah ibn Umar. Abdullah ibn Umar says, My father Umar bin Khattab radiallahu an used to do something that he had never done in other years. Umar bin Khattab used to lead the Muslims in Isha. And when he prays Isha, he goes home and he stands up qiyam to making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the night almost about to finish, Umar gets out of the home looks around the city, looks and see if there is a people who are in need so that he can take care of them. And he said, Abdullah ibn Umar, that I heard one time my father making dua to Allah, saying, Allahumma la taj'al halaka ummata Muhammadin biyadi. He said, Oh Allah, do not make the halak of the ummah, the destruction of the ummah of Muhammad in my own hand when I am the Khalifa of the Muslims. And he made dua until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had elevated. He used to say to the people, Ayyuhan nas, istaghfiru rabbakum. O people, make istighfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thumma tubu ilayhi. Then return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wasaluhu min fadli. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the bounties, for his bounties. Wastasqaw saqiya rahmah. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you a reign of mercy so that the jabaf could end. So this was the 
famine that hit in the Medina of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the year of 188 Hijrah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1400 years ago after that now the same famine or worse than that is hitting our brothers and sisters in Somalia my brothers in Islam they say this is the Akbaru Jafaf in Munza Sinin this is the worst Jafaf that had hit that land for years 2011 there was another Jafaf 260,000 people died 200, almost a quarter million almost the number that died in Syria, died in a Jafaf 211, 2011 in Soman. Look it up, Google it, you'll find it. So this is happening in front of our eyes, my brothers and sisters in Islam. And this is a test that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us to see how we're going to react, whether we're going to implement when Allah says, when Allah says, this is your ummah is one, I am your Lord, feed me. If you are going to implement that, Allah wants to see. Allah to see those who truly, when they say believers, we are brothers in Islam, when they establish that in their life, to see that or not. If Allah wanted to give a rain, He could give them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us through them, my brother in Islam. Same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing them. They're going through that test that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have put them, my brothers and sisters in Islam. People walk for 10 days. I was watching the news. This is not in the news that much. People walk for 10 days so that they can get something to drink. And you and I, we take it granted. In the process, one of the mothers, she said that I put down my own child. I left him behind. Because I knew that he could not be survived. And he did not die and he left him on the street so that she can survive for herself. Another father says that he had left his own children and his wife because they could not walk. And I did not want to stay with them and die with them. So I tried to survive. And I left them on the street and they died. This is my brother Salam. is happening to a ummah that most of those people and many of those people are Hafaz al Quran. They could recite the Quran. They memorize the Quran. These are the people that now my brothers and sisters in Islam needs our help. The United Nations says that from September 2016, last September until now, the famine had increased from 5.2 to 6.2 6 million a risk to die and to lose themselves. My brother in Islam, the matter is not a matter of supporting and here and here. Allah, the matter is saving humanity, saving a life. Whoever saves a life, as he saves the entire life. The matter is not about giving or not giving. The matter is about rahmah, my brother Islam. The matter is that having a heart that cares, my brother Islam. Ar-Rahimun yarhamhumur Rahman. Those who go give rahmah to those who need the rahmah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them the rahmah. Irhamu man fil ard, irhamkum man fil sama. Have a rahmah for those who's on the earth. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give you the rahmah. The, khut, the, the topic does not need an encouragement, my brother Islam. You see the picture of a child who is dying because something to eat, something to drink. The problem is not actually something to eat. They have a lot of camels, a lot of cows. They have all the types of animals, but they don't have anything to drink. The animals are dying. The animals in front of them, hundreds are dying in front of them because they don't have anything to eat. My brothers and sisters in Islam, United Nations says that they need $4 billion to take care of this problem. To end this famine, we need $4 billion. The Muslims, if they would pay their zakah to Somalia, that problem would be ending. One of the rich people, Amir Dalal, you guys all know, his wealth is almost more than $30 billion. So if he could give $4 billion to the people who are dying, he could save the entire lives who are dying today in Somalia, my brothers and sisters in Islam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever does not care about the affairs of the Muslims, what is happening to the Muslims is not among us. So my brother Islam, the matter had moved from being a Muslim to being human, my brothers and sisters in Islam. The other aids 
going there now one after another some of them with an agenda of tawseed to change those people their religion when the people see that the muslims are not helping them the muslims putting their hands together and the non-muslims are going there to help them what they gonna think my brother islam what they gonna think about islam and muslims so we should do our parts my brothers and sisters in islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would able to help but he made us responsible to take care of that to feed a needy is one of the great legislation one of the great practice in islam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked ayyul a'mali khayr what is the best deed the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said idkhalu sururi ala mu'minin ashba' taju'ata to put a smile in the heart of a believer who had covered whom you had given a food that he's not hangry anymore and he said aw kasawta awrata or you gave him a dress and he covered his nakedness aw qadayta lahu hajata or you fulfilled what is in need my brothers and sisters in islam that's why i want to encourage you to, to, on this practice of feeding the needy allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al insan a beautiful surah one of my favorite surah spoke about in al abrara yashrabun min ka'sin kana mizajuha kafura the righteous people al abrar the righteous people would drink from a cups from a cup that mixture of kafur then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the abrar the righteous people in that surah allah says when you tamun at ta'am they feed those who are in need ala hubbi even if they need that food yatim miskinan to give the gift to a needy person wa yatiman wa asira an orphan or even a captive and allah says inna ma nut'imukum liwajhillah la nuridu minkum jaza'an wala shukura we giving you this because of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we don't want you to be thankful you don't don't want you to say thank you the purpose is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure my brothers and sisters what is the nature for that people allah says fa waqahum allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had saved them sharra dhalika al-yawm the evilness of that day the scary of that day will be saved from them because of them wa yut'imun at-ta'am because of them feeding those who are in need my brothers and sisters in islam wa laqahum nadratan wa sururan they will see something that will make them happy in front of them in here after my brothers islam allah says in surah al-badr balad fa laqtaham al-aqama the mankind did not go through difficulty pass allah says wa ma adraka ma al-aqaba what is the difficulty pass that you supposed to be fasting in here after how can you pass that allah says wa ma adraka ma al-aqaba what do you know about that aqaba he said fakhu raqaba to free a slave aw it'am or feeding fi yawmin dhi masghama a day of severe hunger somebody who needs to eat something you put that food in his stomach in his belly then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you pass the difficulties on the day of judgment my brothers and sisters in islam it's not about feeding somebody who is hungry then he can continue his life it's about feeding somebody giving somebody a food somebody who is almost about to die and you are saved and he is saved because of you providing for him my brothers and sisters in islam is about woman ahyaha fa ka'annama ahya an-nas jami'a is about saving a life as you had saved the entire life my brother salam listen to what abdullah ibn salam said when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam just migrated to medina he said that i saw the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from far away and when i looked at him i tried to look at him there were many people surrounding him when i, I finally saw him i saw him and i said this face is not a face of a liar then when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke the first thing that he had said the first word that he had uttered was ayyuhan nas o mankind afshu salam spread the peace say salam to the people it does not mean only literally saying assalamu alaykum only really practicing the salam making peace bringing peace to the people afshu salam that peace should be should be spread because allah is assalam my brothers and says in islam then he said wa at'imu at-ta'am feed those who are in need وَصِلُوا الْأَرْحَامِ Tie the kinship if you do that. وَصَلُّوا بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّاسُ نِيَامِ He said pray at night when the people are sleeping. تَدْخُلُوا الْجَنَّةَ بِسَلَامِ 
if you want to enter the Daru Salam, spread the Salam and worship the Salam, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. My brothers in Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in another hadith, "In fi al-jannati ghurafan yura zahiruha min batiniha." He said, "In Jannah, there are some rooms that you could see inside from outside, or you could see outside from inside." When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told that to his companions. All of them, they want it to be that. They ask, Liman, Ya Rasulullah, who gets this honor, who gets this rooms in Jannah? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Liman Atab al Kalam, the one when he speaks, speaks good. Allah says, when you speak to people, speak to them gentle and nice and kindness. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Liman Atab al Ta'am, those who feed those who are in needy, Wabataka Iman Wan Nasun Yam, and stood up. At night, qiyam, while the people are sleeping. My brothers in Islam, what are we going to say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When we go in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah says to us, I asked you to feed me, and you did not feed me. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you, I asked you to feed me, and you did not feed me in front of him, and hold you accountable. And he says, Allah says to you in the day of judgment, I ask you to give me a water so I can end my thirsty. And you did not do. Then the, then, then the servant will say to Allah, how can I feed you, Allah? You are the Lord of the universe. How can I give you water? And you do not need nobody and nothing, oh Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, my servant so and so asked you to feed him, but you did not feed him. If you would feed him, you would find me there and my rahmah would be there. And I asked you to give me, uh, my servant so and so asked you to give him a water when he was thirsty, when he was about to die, and you did not do it. Then, if you would do it, you would find me there, and you would, uh, and you find my rahmah in there, my brothers and sisters in Islam. So, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Irhamu, turhamu, give a rahmah, so that Allah subhanahu wa taala can give that rahmah to you. Waghfiru, yaghfir lakum, forgive the people." The people have faults, they make mistakes, they cross the lines to you. Forgive them if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La tunza'ur rahman illa min shaqeen. The rahman is not removed from the heart except the evil person who does not have something called a mercy, my brother's name, because Allah says, La yarhamullahu man la yarhamin nas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give a rahman to those who does not give rahma to the people. My brothers in Islam, this is a plea, my brothers, a plea for the people who are needy. I beg you for those children, my brothers in Islam. I'm not ashamed to beg you for those children who are about to die since their life. I'm not ashamed to beg you and ask you to donate to masjid so that the service can continue. So inshallah, as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides to us, give it, my brothers in Islam. I will continue the second khutbah to tell you how you can do that. Jazakumullahu khayra wa astaghfirullah. أستغفر الله وأتوب إليه اللهم أنت السلام أنت السلام الحمد لله الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه ترك لنا المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم القائل صلى الله عليه وسلم المسلم أخ المسلم لا يخذله ولا يحذله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله my brothers in Islam, in the land of famine, in the land of Maja'ah, there is a great transaction in there. A transaction that is secure. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies more than 700 times. This is a transaction, transaction with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us so that we can give His wealth. I said it right. You can give his wealth. The wealth that you have is the wealth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-malu manullah 
ونحن عبيد الله this is the man of Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had entrusted us with آمنوا بالله ورسوله وأنفقوا مما جعلكم مستخلفين فيه believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then أنفقوا give مما جعلكم مستخلفين فيه whatever Allah had made you representative for it we say that كل جمعة every جمعة there is something to ask yes you have to give as long as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides you Allah did not stop the provision from you so do not stop and do not stop giving for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will multiply that for you Allah says فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَأَنْفَقُوا لَهُمْ أَجْرٌ كَبِيرٌ even my brothers in Islam I feel they're discouraged to encourage you because the matter does not need a word Wallah every one of you had seen the children their pictures that's enough motivation to motivate you so that you can give my brothers and sisters in Islam let us remember my brothers in Islam the brothers move forward inshallah there are people in the back who needs a place to come in people in the lobby want to come in so please move forward and close the games inshallah as we end the khutbah remember my brothers in Islam whatever you give is what you saving for your bank account in here after in here after you save only what you give my brothers in Islam what you did not give you only leave for inheritance and the inheritance will take it whether they are grateful to you or not they're going to take it away so why don't you put some of that in front of you in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah says يقول ابن آدم مالي مالي ابن آدم says my wealth my wealth my wealth وهل لك يا ابن آدم من مالك إلا ما أكلت do you have anything from your wealth except what you have put in your stomach and فأثنيت and that is finished went to the bathroom أو لبست فأبليت or something that you had dressed and the clothes had finished أو تصدقت فأمضيت or what you had given and you put in front of you in the day of judgment my brother Islam عائشة when she said to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that she had given away the entire, in the, in the entire in the goat that she slaughtered, except the shoulder. The Prophet ﷺ corrected her. He said that we have kept everything that we donated. It's going to be in here after in our bank, except the shoulder that we're going to eat today. So inshallah, we need to get up and try to support those who are in need, my brothers and them. Give whatever you can afford. Is man the الذي يقرض الله قرضا حسنا فَيُضَاعِفَهُ لَهُ أَضْعَافًا كَثِيرًا So we have with us tonight. Now I'm going to ask you to raise your hands. I know the case itself is strong. And I know everyone cares. So inshallah we have an organization called Humanitarian African Relief Organization. Haro. They're in the lobby. They have tables in the lobby. They're, the need currently, the most of the need is water, my brother Islam. See the water that we have everywhere, every time. These people are dying because they don't have a water to put their, their mouth. So if you can sponsor my brother Islam, a tanker truck, the truck that filled with the water, it costs $230. One tanker truck, it costs $230. For at least every one of us should do that, my brother Islam. It's easy for us, $130. We spend in 10 days. I mean, $230. We spend it in 10 days. Why don't we put it in front of us? Why don't we have something to respond when Allah says, I asked you to feed me and you did not. And then you say, Oh Allah, I did my best. And I sent a tank, one tank, the water. That would save the entire village, my brother Islam, and their life. So whatever you can, give it. One, two, three. Some of us can afford more than five tanks, whatever. Five trucks, whatever you can, give it. Each one is 230. For those who cannot afford, then Sadaqah does not get little, my brother Islam. Give whatever. You can because Allah will multiply that for you. You have fifty dollars, ten dollars, one dollar. Give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give for those who are in need. All the donations that we collect today is gonna go to those children who are in need, inshaAllah. So let's try ourselves to support those who are in need, inshaAllah. We usually support other countries. Somebody raised why only Somalia? Because the Imam is Somali. No, because we support other countries and we are all Ummah one. Last Ramadan, the entire, we send it to Yemen. The be Ramadan is before, we send it to Syria. So we do that. So inshallah, do not have that mentality of racism in your mind, even when you're about to give, when there's a person dying, and you ask those questions.
ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الاحياء منهم والاموات ارحمنا برحمة تغنينا بها عمن سواك ارحمنا برحمة تغنينا بها عمن سواك اللهم ان لنا اخوان في الصومال اللهم انهم جياع فاطعمهم وعرات فاكسهم وحفات فاحملهم اللهم اسقهم غيثا مغيثا مريئا نافعا غير ضار عاجلا غير اجل يا رب العالمين اللهم ارزقهم رزقا حلالا طيبا مباركا فيه تعنيهم عمن سواك يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم فرج كربهم ويسر امرهم اللهم لا تهلكهم بذنوبنا اللهم مد لهم العون ويسر لهم الخير اينما كان يا عزيز يا رحمن اللهم اسق عبادك اللهم اسق بهائمك وانشر رحمتك واحي بلتك الميت يا ارحم الراحمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم Do not forget the tables are in the lobby for the sisters we have one table and for the brothers we have one table there is nobody is going to stand up here and ask you to give it's you and your heart inshallah jazakumullah khaira wa barakallahu feekum aqim as-salah astaghfirullah